In today's video, we're gonna be taking any footage on your computer and instantly transforming it into some CRT realistic looking TV effect. This effect is actually really easy to make because it actually is just using a plugin. I'll have it linked down in the description. It's actually 100% free. It's called Crate Hologram. If that sounds interesting to you, drop a like on the video and let's get into it. Once you've downloaded the script, go to File, Scripts, and then Run Script. A window like this will pop up with a few built-in presets. I used Order 66. I think it's a great starting point for getting that CRT look. It's not gonna look perfect right off the start, but it's gonna be close. And just by applying that preset, we already have something kind of similar to what we're looking for, but we're gonna go through and sauce it up and change the settings to make it look a lot more like CRT. So starting off, I'm skipping frame rate because we just want it to be the normal frame rate of the clip. The scan lines are basically the black checker mark things you're seeing on the screen. So I turned the scan line width to five. I changed the feather down to 0.5 and then brought up the scan line amount to 15. You can see if you check the preserve highlights, it's actually gonna remove the scan lines from the highlights. So if that's something you want, go ahead and do that. Also the perpendicular scan lines is basically if you want it to be checkered or just have the scan lines horizontally. And then we're going on to signal interference. I'm going to turn down the interference amount just a little bit that way it's not as intense and then under displacement i'm turning on large displacement it basically just kind of warps the footage a little bit makes it look a little bit more like i don't know just like glitchy and then if you play around with the traveling displacement amount it's basically like this like tape kind of rippling look the flicker settings in the script don't seem to do anything i couldn't get it to really work or change so i just ignored them pixelate kind of pixelates the footage i didn't turn it on i didn't like how it looked and then color is basically you can change the color of what you want your effect to look like i went ahead and desaturated it a little bit and turned it to like this like light blue and then i turned up the overall color contrast a decent amount. If you don't want any color on your footage and you want it to look real, but just like it's on a TV, you can turn the color influence to zero and then it'll totally disregard the color that you have. And then I turn the glow amount down to 8.5. That way it's just a little bit less. And there's also an option for some chromatic aberrations. If you want to have the colors kind of split RGB, I turned it up just a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of how it looks, but I think it looks good there. And this is already looking pretty good. I'm going to drag on optics compensation and just kind of have a nice bend to it. Kind of how those old TVs have a little bit of a bend. So I'm bringing up the field of view to something around 44 and then just scaling in the footage that way there's no black bars but it just has a little bit of that bend and you can see as i turn it on and off it makes it feel a little bit more like it's on a crt tv and then i'm dragging on lumetri color that way we can add some vignetting so i turned the amount down to negative five played with the midpoint the roundness and the feather and then i also just added a little bit more contrast on that footage and next i added on add grain made sure to go to viewing mode and final output i used the eastman color negative preset turned the size down to 0.5 turned off color noise by making it monochromatic and then turned up the intensity and then lastly since their flicker preset didn't really work i just turned up the amplitude on sapphire flicker to 0.5 and left it like that and if you don't want like that grayish blue color tint on your footage i would recommend going into the lumetri color once you've turned off the color and turning up the saturation and contrast a decent amount it's just gonna make it look a lot more like it's actually on the tv but that's pretty much all i got for you guys in this tutorial hopefully you guys did enjoy if you haven't already liked the video and if you're not subscribed be sure to do that because i'm uploading every single day of this month i'll have a download to the script that i use linked in the description as well as all my editing packs and presets they're by far the best editing packs and presets in the game and if you want to level up your video save yourself some time and support the channel at the same time, go ahead and do that. That's all I got for you guys in this one. Peace.